If we have the Pedigree Master program downloaded and installed to our desktop, we can open it up for the first time, and the first thing you'll see is the home screen for Pedigree Master. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure we have the contact information for your farm or ranch put into the system. So from the home screen, the first thing I want you to make sure you see is your flock identification number up in the top left hand corner. Now this number should have been assigned to you when you enrolled in NSIP and would have come to you by email from NSIP. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in your contact information. So from the home screen we'll click on address book. Your breed and flock code should already be in there and if it's not you can go ahead and put on there. So for demonstration purposes we'll change our stud name to the NSIP ranch. So the stud name is going to be your farm or your ranch name. And the stud master is going to be the personal name associated with that farm or ranch. So for NSIP, we'll go ahead and put in my name. And then from here, we can also put in the address, city and town, uh, phone number, fax, mobile number, website, and email address. Any information you'd like um, to be included with your data, you can go ahead and put onto that. So once you have that uh, information in there, we can click on close. And one other setup feature we need to do is we need to go up to the top left hand corner to your flock ID number and then click on that box. Another setup screen should appear where again it has your breed and your flock codes. So we just need to make sure that those double match what was assigned to you. <clears throat> and we also need to assign how we're going to input our date format for our data collection days. So traditionally we like to use the month, month, day, day, and then year. Uh, however, if you like, choose to use one of the other ones, you can go ahead and select that, but just make sure you remember what you selected because that's what you'll have to use for all of your date formats. Once you have those selected, we can click on Save and Close, and your information up here should go ahead and automatically update. If it doesn't automatically update after you click Save and Close, you can close out of the program by clicking Close, then reopening it, and it will be up to date. So one last thing we need to personalize uh, before we start to input data is we need to make sure that in the, across the middle of the screen you should see a black bar that says NSIP mode with the body and fleece weights uh, as pounds. Now if you don't see this uh, black bar across the screen, on your keyboard we'll hold down Control C and a new setup box will appear. Okay. So this one, it, it says the database appears to be in NSIP mode, which is what we want. But if you don't see that, what we'll do is we'll click on Convert to NSIP. Ask if you're sure. you will click on Yes. And that will convert everything so that we can input all of our weights in pounds. If we don't do that, they'd still be expecting the metric system and everything would have to be in uh, kilograms. So once we have that, it says NSIP trait ranges are loaded and our black bars across the screen. So now we're all set up. In the next couple videos, we'll show you how to navigate the software program and how to go ahead and start inputting data so we can uh, go ahead and submit that and get estimated breeding values returned.